hey guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how I make shrimp fried rice so here I have three cups of cooked chilled rice that I made last night and put in the refrigerator chopped green onion peeled and deveined shrimp two large eggs frozen peas and carrots sliced onion salt pepper garlic powder onion powder sesame oil vegetable oil and soy sauce Okay, so you're going to let your wok heat up on medium heat and while you're doing that, you can go ahead and whip up your eggs. Okay, I'm going to take some vegetable oil and add about two tablespoons of that to the wok to make sure that it's nice and coated and that the eggs don't stick. Now using your fork, drizzle a little bit of the egg into the wok to see if it's heated enough and if it is, then you're good to pour your eggs in to start cooking. So you're going to let the eggs cook until they're no longer running. I'm going to add just a little sprinkle of salt to the eggs for seasoning. So now that the eggs are pretty much done, I'm going to take them out of the wok and put them on a separate plate. Now I'm going to add about 4 tablespoons of sesame oil to the wok. Now I'm going to throw in my vegetables, onion and green onion. And FYI, these veggies are still frozen, so don't worry about that. You don't have to like thaw them out or anything. Just put them in a wok. I just kept stirring them while they cooked for about three minutes. Okay, so now that the veggies and onion are cooked down, I'm going to make a little space in the middle of them for the shrimp to cook. Okay, so now you're going to really season your shrimp and veggies with salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Okay, so just a little note, I never ever um, actually measure how much seasoning I'm using for each dish that I make unless I'm baking something. So down in the description below, I'm going to estimate how much of each seasoning that I use. But I literally, um, I season for taste. And I know it may be a little hard to actually see me seasoning this stuff because of the smoke, but please believe I am seasoning. Okay, so now it's time to just mix it all together. Make sure that everything is well seasoned and make sure that your shrimp are cooked all the way through, but do not overcook the shrimp. Okay, so now I'm going to add the eggs back to the wok and I'm going to break it up using the spoon just a little bit. And I'm going to stir it together just for the next one to two minutes. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but if you could do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button down below to join my subby family, I would really appreciate it. I upload every week and... If you want to be notified every time I upload, you could just hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. Now it's time to add my three cups of cooked and chilled rice to the wok. And I'm going to just mix it up really well and as well as break up the clumps of rice using my spoon. Okay, so now I'm going to add six tablespoons of soy sauce to the rice. Now I'm going to add like one fourth teaspoon of sugar. Then I'm going to mix the rice for about the next five to six minutes. Okay, and this is also the point where after mixing in my soy sauce, I'm going to do a little taste test to see if I need to add any more seasoning to the rice. And voila! Here we go, shrimp fried rice. 
So after prepping the ingredients, this dish took about 15 minutes to make. All right, this is the taste test. Got my chopsticks that we got from our friend Karen as a favor at her wedding. Thank you, Karen. I couldn't wait to use these. <laughs> Let's see how this comes out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is the truth. So as you can see, this is absolutely delish. Um, <laughs> thank you to all my Facebook friends who helped me out when I asked for recipe ideas. Um, I took bits and pieces of each one and, you know, added a little something on my own. Thank you, Lauren, Jeremy, um, Gabby, Mike, who else? Miss Yolanda, um, I can't think you were Susan. Who else was it? I'm sorry if I'm forgetting anyone, but thank you guys so much. This is so delicious and I'll definitely be making it again. I think that I did really well for my first time because it is really good and like no lie. Okay, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.